Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And on this quick tip episode, I'm going to show you how I modified the clothing on my CGI stunt double to show a logo on a shirt that previously wasn't there. In order to do this, you need a copy of either Photoshop or After Effects, because it can be done in both. And guess what? It's pretty goddamn easy. So let's get into it. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects. Now I did say you can do this in Photoshop as well, but I just figured since all the other tutorials in the CGI stunt double series are in Cinema 4D and After Effects, why bother involving yet another program? Plus, everything is super easy to replicate in Photoshop. So I've already got my Green Lantern logo imported and ready to go. So let's import our texture map. Now you'll no doubt remember these from our part two of our CGI stunt double series. Now the one we're looking for here is called Top Diffuse. And there it is. And as you can see, it has our shirt right there, that little green area. So let's import it, done. And then drop it into our comp, a done done. From there, let's grab our logo file and drop it in on top. Next, all we really have to do here is position and scale it over this part of the shirt. Now you can see we don't have the entire shirt to work with as the jacket our model wears does obscure it some. So the idea is we want to add our logo to this area right here. So we'll just scale it down and position it into place until you're happy. There we go. All we have to do now is head up to composition, save frame as, then head on down, click lossless, and then we're going to convert this to a PNG, which is what it originally was. From there, you can click the name, save it wherever you like, and then just name it whatever you like. I don't care. Hit render and you're golden. Now, if you want to make the logo to be bigger than this area and it be obscured by the jacket, well, that's pretty easy too. We just scale it up. That's it. Now, the logo will be cut off slightly on these edges just due to the nature of this map having the edges of our shirt on the jacket on these sides here. But since our model will most likely be in motion or far away, with added motion blur, you aren't really gonna see this. So it doesn't really matter. Now, just like we did with our last map, head up to composition, save frame as, and render out your new map as a PNG, and once again, name it whatever you like. We'll then head over to Cinema 4D to update our model. So here we are in Cinema 4D. Now to update this model is crazy easy. All we gotta do is find the material we need to update. In our case, it's top. So let's open it up, head up to color, Click the arrow on texture and select load image. From there, we just need to find our new texture, hit open and then hit no. Our updated shirt is now on our model. And just for the hell of it, let's just upload the obscured logo as well. Just find it, click on it, import, hit no, and there it is. And just to put a cap on this, let's just do a quick test render to show it in action. See, easy as pie, baby. Now guys, you could go absolutely nuts trying to customize this model, but you do have to think that at the end of the day, the model won't be used for much close-up work, so that's probably a waste of time just drilling down that far. Now you may recall a few months ago that I showed a model of me in a flash suit. Well, technically that's not correct. All I did was add an outfit like a jumpsuit and fuse, color it red the same way I showed you in part one of our CGI stunt double tutorial, and then I changed the material on every piece of clothing to a leather and colored it red. So it was kind of cheating. My God. I then used the same technique I showed you to add a flash logo to the jacket. Pretty clever. But that brings us to the end of the quick tip episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. If you are new here, why not subscribe? My Patreon info is right there as well. And we've got two other film learning episodes right over here, as well as my social media crap that is above my head. I post on there a bunch, guys, so feel free to follow me. And until next time, keep learning.